Good evening from the USS Jarek Carnelian. Um, Dobry Vesha, which is good evening in Russian. Um, Simon seems to have entered a new sort of phase of his career there with the wonderful world of chat GDP and AI-inspired models. He's using a thing called Atify, which I recognise, which summar attempts to summarise big blodges of information and boil it down. This evening, we've been treated to Simon's great, interesting posts about spaceships. Well, I will say at least it's not like, let again, why the black man is the bad man. We is bestest of all, which does get rather tiresome. If, it is, if he is going to choose to believe in that conspiracy, it's at least preferable to that. Um, this sort of stuff goes round and round in a circle, these conspiracies about UFOs. They blow, they go up and down. Leonard Nimoy, who played Mr. Spock here, who you can see in the background, was infamous for hosting shows uh, um, focusing on this sort of stuff. Will Shatner on the left there, who's still, of course, with us, also host shows like that. In fact, Will Shatner would probably host anything if you threw enough money at him. He'd, and I'll give Will Shatner this, he at least recognises that and is quite happy to take the mick out of himself about it. Um, I remain to see what Simon's going to do with this. Um, some of the stuff he's talking about are just standard tropes in science fiction, like apocalyptic situations, doomed doomed worlds, people living after an apocalypse. This sort of stuff is endlessly repeated in science fiction at both the stupidest end and the most, how shall we put it, high-flown end of science fiction. You have everything from the kind of cheap pulp magazines who use this sort of stuff to stuff like George R. Stewart's Earth Abides or, or dystopian situations like Huxley's Brave World, New World or, or the infamous 1984, of course. This sort of stuff has textual history beyond that as well. If you go back before science fiction, you have things like Joseph Hall's Mondus Alter et Idiom, a new, uh, which is a kind of precursor to science fiction. Fascinating uh, it, from Simon to be going on about this. I imagine he can do a review of Star Wars or Blake 7 or something for us next for a good giggle.